I think it is important to say this is not a debate about criticizing dentists. It's about criticizing the system that doesn't work. And I too want to pay tribute to all the dentists in my constituency who have worked so very hard, particularly during the pandemic, to keep the oral health of my constituency as, in as good a shape as possible, but they really struggle. Oral health is an essential component of everybody's health and well-being. Dentists play a crucial role in the early detection of a number of diseases, as we've already heard, particularly including mouth cancer. <coughs> Problems accessing NHS dental services have reached an unprecedented scale in every community. Moral, morale amongst NHS dentists is at an all-time low, and 40 million NHS dental appointments have been lost since the start of the pandemic. All this has been made worse by the pandemic, but the dental crisis in our country far, far predates COVID. It is a result of decades of chronic underfunding and an unsustainable target-based dental contract. My constituents have been contacting me about access to NHS dental services since I became elected. The biggest concern is that they simply cannot find an NHS dentist. One constituent told me, my disabled partner and I have been told that our dental practice will no longer do NHS dentistry for us after 35 years. We are on income support and cannot afford the private fees they, are, they have quoted to us. Another constituent told uh, me she couldn't find a dentist in Bath that would not take their child. The closest practice they could find was a 40-mile car hour away. When another constituent needed fillings, she was given two temporary ones and was told that anything more would incur private fees. She, she told me she's afraid to eat. This is the extent to the misery of my constituents. According to a Health Watch survey carried out in November, no NHS dentist in Bath and North East Somerset reported that they were taking on NHS patients. No practices reported they were able to take on children under 18. And no practice reported that they would be able to take on new patients in the next three months. What is happening in Bath has been reflected across the country. The single biggest problem about dentistry in the UK is that it has become privatised over decades, and I do not want to um, accuse any particular party about this. It's been going on for a long time. That privatisation has started for a long time. There are around 12,500 dental practices in the UK. About 30% are private, 15 are mostly private, and 15 are evenly mixed. That means just 40% are NHS practices, but many of these have elements of private provision. Less than 40% of adults in Bath and North East Somerset have seen an NHS dentist in the two years leading up to June 2021. Those who cannot afford private dental care often do not go until it is too late and they end up in emergency services. It is not that there aren't any dentists in the UK, and I know there is um, an income, uh, there's a problem about distribution of dentistry, but the biggest problem is that increasingly NA, uh, dentists do not want to work for, for the NHS. The current crisis will not improve unless we make it viable for dentists to provide NHS treatments and make NHS dentistry a place where people want to work. Bath and North East Somerset, Swindon and Wiltshire CCG have lost 9% of its NHS dentists in the last year alone, the highest proportion in the southwest and over twice as high as the national, as the national average. Dentists in my constituency have told me that they want to provide NHS treatment but just can't make it viable under the current conditions. They are hugely worried about the increase in the percentage of the pre-pandemic treatment levels they are now expected to do, and the mental health toll on our dentists is actually enormous. The minister has committed to reforming the system. This is welcome, but the pace of change is too slow, and practices cannot increase the number of patients they are seeing on promises alone. Not only must the government reform the current contracts, it must do so very urgently, and the bottom line is a matter of funding. The government must provide adequate resources as a matter of urgency to rebuild the alarming decline of NH dentistry and guarantee its long-term sustainability. The current situation, in my view, is nothing short of a scandal and simply unacceptable. Healthy teeth should not be a privilege for only those who can afford privately to pay for their dental care. 
Over 70 years ago, the founding fathers of the welfare state envisaged a country where the gross injustices between rich and poor would be eliminated for good. Let's not, let's not turn our backs on the principle on which our NHS is based. Oral health is as much a matter of access and equality as is the rest of NHS care. And we Liberal Democrats, and may I say that to the Honourable Member of uh, North East Bedfordshire, we Liberal Democrats absolutely understand the importance of being prudent about the public purse. But equality should never be sacrificed on the altar of balancing the books. Thank you.